Hi, everybody. This is Bob Iacchino from Path Trading Partners, along with Mike Arnold. Quick AM Path Chat, Forex, FX, currency markets. A couple of things. We had the ADP numbers come out this morning. ADP private payrolls here in the U.S. grew 246,000 in January versus an estimate of 165,000. Almost 80,000 better. Actually, 81,000 better than the estimate by economists. So huge, huge number. There is not a very reliable correlation between ADP private payrolls and non-farm payrolls. Although I would say that in the last two and a half years or so, when ADP outperforms just kind of in generally, non-farm does as well. We've had surprises in the other direction too, though. That is not a trading strategy to trade non-farm payrolls off of ADP. But looks like we're going to open up higher in the equities and uh, the dollar index will probably strengthen, but I'm gonna turn it over to Mike. Before I turn it over to Mike, we've also got the FOMC announcement today, which we don't expect anything. There's no press conference. Thursday, we've got a Bank of England meeting, which I'll bring up again probably tomorrow or this afternoon. But okay, let me turn it over to Mike to show you what he is seeing on the charts. Okay, thanks, Bob. Let's see here, guys. All right. First, let me take care of a little chart update business. Putting in my lower trend line. All right, we closed the euro US dollar above our defining point into a clear path move. We've outlined our targets. Now we've pulled back into key support, which is all in this area, and we have a rising rotation zone. So this is, this is normal, nothing to be concerned of. If you are doing any short-term shorts, you have a lot of support in here, so be careful. We've pulled back to kiss the trend line goodbye. We're stopping right at this key significant level, which was a prior target, and we do have the rising R zone. What's interesting, let me just switch to the weekly. I would like this to get, if you're looking to initiate a long position, I'd like it to get back up above this significant level and the 21. So watch for a rotation back up and that's the way you could initiate a long. But that's the way it looks. It's still in play for the longs. So that's the update. On the pound, we came back down. You know, we touched briefly on into the R zone. We kissed the trend line goodbye. This trend line, is not an official redraw yet, but unless we collapse in the pound today, it will get redrawn to there and then could provide additional support. We're moving at back up to our prior targets. If we get above the 127.76 level, we're looking at the 127.28 level, which is this next significant level higher. So nothing else to look at in the pound. We also, if I were to do some GAN projections on here, we have other GAN projections also at that 127, 28 level right in that area. So that's the next really magnet target, but we have to get above this prior high set a few days ago. Yen, we lost a couple levels here. Significant level right around here that we went below and now we closed right at it. Yesterday, now we're back above it. So that is a very strong level that we've confirmed. Nothing new that I'm doing in the yen yet. Again, I will continue to watch for a close. Let me draw and We might have a new trend line. This is not confirmed yet. We might have a new trend line there, which could provide a short, but we'd have to get a close below that trend line, and then I'd update the targets. Our moving averages are pretty flat, so nothing to do, but we do have resistance about in the middle of this move, so watch for that also. Swissy, we came down to this key significant level, and now we've also added on, which I had on a different set of charts, the simple 200, which we found key support. Moving back up, watch if this continues to strengthen. Watch for, or we, the Swissy would be weakening in relation to the US dollar. Watch for key resistance around that 99, 70, 99, 80, and we have the declining rotation zone coming in. So there's going to be a lot of overhead resistance if it continues to rally. And if it does rally, I would not be surprised for it to retest that prior major support becoming resistance, which is a uh, key trading technique that we see a lot and we've utilized for years. That's pretty much all I have in the currencies right now. So I'll turn it back to you, Bob. 
Thanks, Mike. I'm just going to start a little tradition here, which I used to do, and uh, Mike doesn't do as much as me when it's not confirmed. I'm going to make it a dashed trend line, and then I'll make them solid when they're confirmed. So I'll do that on the yen, and I'll do that on the pound as well. And then again, I don't want people to get confused about what a confirmed trend line is versus what a potential trend line is. Uh, so those are the dashed ones. So looking at all three charts, we've got confirmed trend lines, confirmed and potential, just potential. And then we haven't drawn any trend lines on here yet. So Money Path Podcast, new one will come out on Saturday, pathtradingpartners.com. Shoot us an email if you want us to cover anything specific. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.